appreciate the member's comments and those, those of his colleague. This is an important issue that we're actually debating here today. What I, the question I've put to him is that with respect to the Xinjiang Integrity Declaration, it's about a broader examination of what is going on in China, and particularly with respect to one community, the Uyghur community. But the issue of Chinese human rights uh, uh, violations is articulated quite clearly in the Indo-Pacific strategy that our government launched last November. It talks about being clear and open-eyed and transparent about calling out human rights violations of Tibetans, of Hong Kong democracy dissenters, of Taiwanese individuals, and of Uyghurs. Does the member acknowledge that that is an important step in the right direction vis-a-vis -vis more accountability and transparency for China? The Honourable Member for Sherwood Park for Saskatchewan. Madam Speaker, I think I did a panel with uh, my Honourable Friend precisely on the uh, Indo-Pacific strategy, uh, and I told him at the time that the Indo-Pacific strategy sounds in certain respects like the Liberals are, are trying to talk like Conservatives, uh, but they are still acting like Liberals. Now, this is, this is the problem. If you read the Indo-Pacific strategy, sure, there are some pieces in there where you could say, yeah, okay, they, they mentioned Tibetans, that's good. They mentioned Uyghurs, that's good. There's, there's a few things in there where, where you can nod along to it. But in terms of the substance of what the government has done before and since they released that strategic document, they're not following through. Uh, what, what, what I care much more about, what Uyghurs care much more about than what is written in a strategic document is actually whether products made with slave labor are being prevented from getting into Canada. That's what really matters, and the rubber hasn't hit the road. 